everybody. Uh, it's the T Dubs kid here. Gonna do some moto vlogging. I don't always use my driveway. I mean, it's much more fun not to use your driveway when you have a dual sport. Yep. So, this is really my first moto vlog I've ever done. My very first uh, motorized vehicle was a like a little scooter, like one of those little scooters with a two-stroke engine in the back. That was my first motorized vehicle ever. Um, so I got that when I was like eight years old. It was pretty cool. I mean, it sucks now, but back then, like a little motorized scooter was like the shit. Or at least to me, it was. But anyways, my friends rode it one day. And they like, they seized up one of the bearings on the drive sprocket, so that was pretty much the end of that. My first motorcycle I ever rode was that, it was a little Honda 80, I don't remember like what kind it was, it was just a little 80cc Honda trail bike. And so I got on that thing, we were in the back, way back in my yard, uh, and I start going. I, th I don't think it had a clutch, I think it was just like a semi-auto. Um, so I started going and like, I don't know, I got like the throttle like stuck or my hand was stuck or whatever and I got going really fast and I didn't know how to stop and so I ended up, I pretty much ended up in a ditch, yep, in a cactus, which really sucked. Landed in a cactus. I had like, I was like pulling giant spikes out of my leg, like probably that big. They were all the way in my leg that day. So that was my very first motorcycle or uh, uh, dirt bike experience ever. It wasn't the greatest. But that didn't stop me. Nope. Some people would probably would have this. I mean, it was traumatic, but it wasn't that bad, I guess. I got over it. Anyways, I was like, I gotta get a dirt bike. These things are awesome. And so I finally saved up some money. Um, I was probably like 12 or 13 or whatever. I think my dad helped me out just a little bit, but I got uh, a used Yamaha TTR90. Oh wow, I got party going on over here. Anyways, I love that TTR90. I'd ride it in my backyard. I'd, I'd ride it in my neighborhood like, like I'm doing right now. And actually on this very street, I was like riding around one day and I uh, went past here and there's this like guy and his wife like unloading some wood out of a trailer that's actually his house that they're having the party at right now I don't know if he still lives there or whatever but anyways I was going around this turn right just like this we're going around this like cul-de-sac I'm like oh that's cool I love my bike and then guy like comes out to like stop me I'm like nah I'm not gonna stop so I go around him and it was like right there too and like he starts chasing me down the road and I just like take off oh that's so scary I never told my parents or anything like that uh I don't know I didn't want to get in trouble the saddest day of my childhood was when I was riding in the backyard of my house you know, I had like, we had like a little motocross track, it was kind of cool. Like, we haven't built jumps yet, but I think we were, like, planning on it. And I was riding in the back one day, like, just romping around, and then I come in, you know, to get some dinner, my parents were home, and they are like, uh, well, we just got this phone call from the homeowner, Homeowners Association, Homo Owners Association, and, uh, <laughs> and they're like, oh, you can't be riding your, uh, dirt bike in your backyard that that can't happen or else we'll like find you or whatever <laughs> and so my parents are like oh you can't ride anymore like that was like the saddest day of my life my childhood life at least oh so sad but i could you know I, we still took it like up in the mountains and everything i could ride around out there it just wasn't the same i mean i still rode it like once in a while but i didn't want to get my parents in trouble or get me in trouble or whatever so that was pretty sad Uh, yeah. 
and eventually uh, eventually I got rid of the TTR 90 and I want a little bigger bike so I mean engine displacement it's actually a little smaller but I got a Yamaha YZ85 which is a lot quicker and a lot better than the TTR 90 that bike was a lot of fun. Even though I couldn't ride it in my backyard, I mean, I still have, it's pretty good fun on it. I could take it like to motocross tracks and stuff. I have a little fun. I never got like good or anything. We didn't go that often, but it was a lot of fun on that bike. Eventually, I sold the YZ85 because I was approaching 16 years old and I had to have a car. Had my, have my own car, so I had to save up to make money for it. And to make money for it, uh, for my car, yeah, I sold my YZ85. So I could get a car. Anyways. This is why I love dual sports, because you can do shit like this. And you can ride it on the road to go do shit like this. And you don't have to worry about like fucking trailering it and get pulled over and shit like that. It's just so much nicer. I mean, look at that view. Look at that view. Love this little spot. It's kind of cool. So I'm riding a uh, 2014 Yamaha TW200 and I actually really really like this bike. This is my first street legal motorcycle I've ever had and I love it. I love the TW200, it just goes anywhere, anywhere you want. right there. Lots of rocks. What's oh, two geese? They're making some goslings. Gooselings or whatever you call them. Hello goose. This is a nice little place. Nice little tunnel. Oh, my bike sounds so cool in here. Alright, time to go.